Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a very quick back to school makeup tutorial for you. This is the final look. It's using all drugstore products. Everything is under £10. Actually everything bar two products are under £5. So it's all really, really affordable and I hope you find it useful if you're going back to school in the next few weeks. There's also a little giveaway at the end so if you want to enter that then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is apply a little bit of Ico's Tinted Cream. Now, if you have been on holiday or if you've caught some sun over the summer, then this is a good way to kind of accentuate your tan. If you haven't, as the weather in England has been awful and if you haven't been away, then this is a good way to kind of fake it. It's kind of like a little bit in between wash off fake tan and cream bronzer. And I take about that much and just rub it in between my fingertips. And then I start on my cheekbones. Now this looks scary when you first start to apply it, but when you blend it in, it's fine, I promise. Um, and then you just blend this into your whole face. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a little bit more of that and put it down my neck, just so that it's a little bit more natural. And the next thing that I'm going to do is apply a little bit of tinted moisturiser. Now this whole tutorial is going to be very, very low coverage, so if you like a bit more coverage, you can use a foundation. If you want to know my favourite drugstore foundation is Revlon Colour Stay and the colour I use is Sand Beige if you're interested. Um, this is I think is about £12 in the UK. This is really good but obviously as we're doing a school tutorial um, it's good to keep it kind of minimal natural makeup so I'm going to use Elf's Tinted Moisturiser with SPF 15 just in case you're outside in break time and you need some protection for your skin and the colour I'm going to use is Honey and I'm just going to dab this on my cheeks, my nose, my chin and my forehead and then I'm just going to blend it in with my fingers and it does leave like a nice dewy kind of effect, I actually really like this and it smells of oranges which I'm not sure if I like that or not, it's a little bit weird but I like the smell but I don't know if I like putting it on my face so I'm just going to take a little bit of this down my neck and when I'm done with that I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer and the concealer I'm using is from e.l.f. as well this is from their studio lines, it's a little bit more expensive but you do get four different colours. Now these look kind of scary because obviously you've got the green which is, these are colour correcting. So the green colour will balance out red and the pink colour goes under your eyes to stop you looking like you've got dark circles. And then there's two flesh tone colours. So what I'm going to do is start off with the green. Now these are very, like they're not very pigmented at all but you still do want to be careful with them and what I'm going to do is just put this and blend in very well to where I have any redness. So under my nose here and you just want to make sure that that's blended in nicely. They might look a little bit lighter than the skin tone but we're going to go over it with another concealer. They're actually very creamy as well which is really good because it doesn't like, it's not going to like dry out a spot if you have a spot so that's good. The next thing I'm going to do is take the pink and I'm just going to put this under my eyes and then a little bit on my eyelids as well and it's actually going to act as a little bit of a primer when we put our eyeshadow on too. So just be gentle around your eyes, I'm kind of patting it on. And then I'm going to take this slightly lighter concealer and just using my fingers again. I'm just going to go over where I put the tinted concealers. So on my chin, just pat it in. It's really creamy so it blends in very, very easily. Okay, and then to set that I'm just going to use e.l.f.'s pressed powder. This is from their studio line as well. This is also good for school actually because it comes with a little powder puff as well which aren't great but if you are kind of on the move or you want to just throw this in your school bag as well that's really useful. So I'm going to apply this with e.l.f.'s powder brush which looks like this. You just want to take a little bit and just buff that into the skin. This brush is really good, it's really soft. And then take that down your neck a little bit as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a blusher and I'm going to use another e.l.f. product and this is their blush and bronzer duo and it looks like that and then I'm going to take their professional bronzing brush which is just a contoured blush brush and I'm going to take a tiny bit of blush now these again are very powdery so if you're not careful to tap off the excess you'll get powder all over your face so you just want to take a little bit of that and then smile so you can see the apples of your cheeks and just blend it in carefully. These are actually really pigmented so you don't want to use too much. So when I've done that we're going to start with the eye makeup and again I'm going to use e.l.f. products. I'm going to use one of their little brightening eye colour quads and this is in ethereal, ethereal, something like that. Um, so you're just all neutral colours and what I'm going to do is take eyeshadow brush, this is from e.l.f. as well, you can use whatever one you like and I'm going to take the whiter colour here and I'm just going to apply this on the inner corners of my eyes and then about a quarter of the way into my lid just very lightly 
you only want a tiny bit just to highlight that. So I'm just going to keep on using the same brush and I'm going to take this kind of peachy tone here and be careful with this because it does have a little bit of glitter in it so make sure you tap off any excess and I'm just going to put this on my eyelids. So what I'm going to do now is just take an e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to take the darkest colour here, but I'm just going to take an absolutely tiny, tiny bit of it and then just run it along the lash line and then into that outer corner of your eye, just a tiny bit. And then just blend it out. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. The next thing that I'm going to do is take an eyeliner and I'm using Rimmel's Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner which is really good because it does stay on for ages and if you're at school and you're going to be there all day then this is good to have something that's waterproof. Now if you have big eyes like me, I like to put a little bit on the waterline of my eyes, so just on the inside of my eye. If you don't have big eyes then it's best probably just to put a little bit on the upper lash line and that's it. I do like to put it on the inner waterline because I do have big eyes like I said. So what I'm going to do is just pull my eyelid down there and then just apply a little bit along the waterline. And this is really, really soft as well. And I find it quite hard to find good eyeliners that are cheap, but I think this is about 3 99 Like I said, everything in this video is under £10. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on, and for this I'm using Ico's Magic Mascara, and I can't tell you how much I love this packaging. It like looks like it has little rhinestones on it. I'm absolutely in love with this mascara, it's just so pretty. I've also included a code in the information bar for Ico's website. If you want to order anything from Ico, they'll send you a free gift with your order if you put the code in. So that's good, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this mascara on. This mascara is really good because it is volumizing and lengthening at the same time, but it's not too clumpy. So if you do have strict rules at your school about wearing like a lot of makeup or whatever, this is a nice way to kind of accentuate your eyelashes whilst not looking too much, if you know what I mean. The thing we've got left to do now is just put a little bit of lip gloss on and I am using another e.l.f. product and this is their plumping lip glaze. Now if you like the lip glosses that like sting your lips a little bit and are quite minty then this is amazing. I'm like addicted to this at the moment. It's basically double ended so you get one end which is plumping and then the other end is just like a normal coloured lip gloss. So you can use them separately, you're meant to use them together but you can use them separately if you like. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the clear gloss on and then a little bit of the colour on the end. This colour is, what is it called, Peach Passion. And it's really pretty because it has a tiny bit of pink shimmer to it as well. Okay, so that is it for my back to school makeup tutorial. It's very low coverage, very natural, but perfect for kind of every day if you're at school, especially if you're not allowed to wear a lot of makeup at school. So I hope you all enjoyed it. I do have a little bit of a giveaway for you guys today, and it's nothing crazy or anything, don't get too excited, but I am giving away four different e.l.f. lip glosses. Um, now, they are all in different colours, obviously different formulations. Um, I'll just tell you which ones they are. The first one is the Luscious Liquid Lipstick in Strawberry, which is a red colour, it's really pretty. Um, the next one is the Hyper Shine Lip Gloss in Bubblegum. The Plumping Lip Glaze, which is the same formulation that I just used, and this colour is in Wink Pink, which is a really pretty pale pink. And then a Minty Lip Gloss in San Diego, which is another red. But these are very sheer, so they don't show up really red. These are all new colours that e.l.f. have just brought out. And these are all going to go as one prize, so there's just going to be one winner. And what you need to do to win is just enter a comment in the comment section below and tell me what your favourite everyday makeup product is for school. So, good luck guys, and I'll speak to you again soon.